right down there, Captain. All right, let's take a look, Sergeant. Stay here. point around here, Captain. Still too wide. Take us too long to get a bridge across here. It'll be dark soon. We'll try again in the morning. All we gotta do is find a narrow spot in the river. We almost got our heads shot off twice today already. The captain handles himself okay, though.
Thanks for the lift. That's Lieutenant Hanley over there, Mr. Cole. Lieutenant Hanley? Cole? I've been expecting you. Come on. Read your stuff from Anzio. Pretty good. Thank you. Here, you can store your stuff right in this pocket. It's empty. You might find a little dull around here. We're helping division engineer scout a river for a bridge crossing. You're still sending out combat patrols, aren't you? Oh, yeah. That's well, good enough for me. I understand there's a Captain Cole with you. Yeah, he checked in a few days ago. You related? Yeah, I'm related. Right into a patrol. Anybody else hit? No. Want to place the bridge? Nope, we're going to have to go out again in the morning. Oh, this is Jack Cole, correspondent with the Boston Press. Up here to write some stories. Kirby, true stories. <laughs> Sergeant Saunders, Kirby, Hi. Little John, Hi. Hi. Doc. Hi, uh, Kirby, uh, spelled K-I-R-B-Y. Cole, spelled C-O-L-E. <laughs> uh, you're not related to our captain from engineers, are you? Just his old man, Kirby. That's right. some. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, last time I saw you, you were in college. Before the war. That's right. I visited your mother's grave before I came over. Sorry, I uh, couldn't get there before, but by the time the letter caught up with me, uh, yeah. Well, sure. I, uh, I got a lot of paperwork ahead of me. I'll be seeing you around. Sure. We got hit here. This is a heavy patrol area. And this is where we'll be going out again in the morning. Okay. Cole will probably go with you. You mean the correspondent? Yeah. We got the word from headquarters. Oh, we'll operate, huh? Saunders, fill you in? Yes, sir. How about a drink, Hanley? Fine. Sarge. We're sharing security with a big company tonight. Kirby, Little John, you're up first. Okay. Uh, hey, 
What if I take that correspondent with me, huh? I'll just uh, fill him in a little bit on how we've been winning the war and everything. Okay? Well, Doc, fix this up, will you? Okay. He knows how to spell your name. Don't worry. Oh, Case, what are you talking about? I'll just do you guys a favor. I mean, you can't go out there and talk about yourself, can you? Well, I can tell him about your medals. I reluctantly admit you got about 12. You never show anybody. Huh. I'll bet you'll talk about me. <laughs> hey, there was some family reunion over there. Yeah, it was. You know, it kind of reminds me of the time my old man and I squared off. <laughs> Who won that one? Well, I started to, but I was so scared of hurting him that, uh, well, I ended up getting knocked cold. Did he beat you up? Was he bigger than you? Are you kidding? Nobody's bigger than that moose. <laughs> my dad, he was always threatening to give me a good wallop. Never did, though. Well, maybe when the war's over, well, you'll be able to take him. No, he's dead now. You know, the captain's really a nice guy, isn't he? Yeah, he sure is. I don't know. It seems... Might be kind of funny, though, having an old army man for a papa. Yeah, growing up would be kind of like uh, one long inspection. <laughs> I bet you that's why Cole's not in the army. What? Just uh, didn't know what to say. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? I thought it might be different. I mean, it's been a long time. But the minute Jack and I came face to face, the old hindsight department started working all over again, wondering about all the mistakes, the wrong moves while he was growing up. One other? No. Am I boring you? No. You know, I've trained hundreds, thousands of boys. I did a good job, too. But when it came to my own kid, I couldn't get through to him. His mother, she, uh, she didn't like the army. Guess I couldn't blame her, only, uh, well, I couldn't have been all wrong. I mean, about discipline, respect, the right and wrong ways to get things done. I tried to teach him. But he'd always turn to her. How does it all end up? A couple of million guys fighting their guts out all over the world, and my son winds up in the front lines with a typewriter. From what I've read, he's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, sure. Well, I've done enough belly aching. Let's get to work. <laughs> Thank you. Kirby. Hey, that's right. Yeah, William G. at your service. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> Not a bit. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you probably came to just the right source. I mean, most of the guys in our outfit are kind of shy and... Well, they don't talk much, but every last one of them's got a story to tell. You know, some of them you wouldn't even believe. Is that right? Yeah. Of course, not much has happened to us lately. I thought you ran into some 